Hello there friends, welcome to another video and today we're gonna see how to play TMNT Out of the Shadows split screen multiplayer in one keyboard or two keyboards especially no controllers required at all just to say I'm doing this video cause some random guy requested me in the comments of one of my previous videos so if you want me to do a tutorial on a specific game just let me know in the comments I'll do my best back to the video so here goes the game and this is how the game runs normally. When we finish the little tutorial playing as April, the game takes us into the HQ. And this is where you jump into multiplayer. Just take on a mission and here it is. And it says player to join. But in order to do that we need a controller. And that's when the virtual controller comes in. Before I do anything, just wanna let you know that I won't be doing any of the explanations. I'm just gonna do things faster. So if you don't understand what I'm doing, you can check out my previous video that I did on virtual controller. I explained everything in that video. So if you check that out, it's gonna be easier. Sorry, I'm just kinda tired, you know. So first of all, just install virtual controller in your PC and open it up. Alright, now I'm just gonna insert a one controller. And let's see how the game works. Let's go to the settings. As you can see this option that says use gamepad. If you enable it, Everything's gonna change you to an Xbox edition, so I recommend you to not to do that. It'll make things dizzy. So just disable it. But if I go to the HQ and select a mission, I still can't add another player because the game takes the controller that we added as player 1. So we need another controller. Let's quit the game. Go and add another controller. Alright, now what we gonna need to do is we set up the key bindings. That is the most boring part. So I've already set them up for you. You don't have to worry about it. You can download the file from the link in the description. Now go to the controls. Open that file through here. Now you might see some stuff got changed. That means you did it successfully. You can customize these key bindings as you want through quick bindings. Only if you are a pro. Nah, <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's try the game. Go to the HQ and select a mission. Now here, press 800. Not on the knobpad, okay? And there we go, a player who just joined. So if that worked in your game too, that means you have done everything successfully. That's all we got to do. Now what we can do is just play the game. But before we hop into the game, these are the key bindings. Just keep them in mind and try playing the game. This is how it's gonna be like. This is play 1. This is play 2. Pretty cool, right? It's gonna be very easy if you plug two keyboards in. Because you can just keep four hands on a one keyboard, right? Just do whatever you want. Ah. 
and that's it for today's video if you like it give me a thumbs up leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe i'm gonna see you in the next video